Tri-Staters fly the discount airline Allegiant these days. Why? Because it's often half the price of Delta to popular vacation spots. But one couple has just spent the whole weekend stuck at the Greater Cincinnati Airport and has a caution for anyone flying a deep discount airline. Sarah Hayden is a certified mine safety rescuer on her way to a training conference in Destin, Florida. Instead, she and her travel partner have been stuck at the airport for three days. Today's Monday, so Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. It began Friday evening when her Allegiant flight had to turn back at the last minute. We we're about 100 feet from landing and our landing gear was down. They said that we couldn't land because of weather. Two hours later, she was back where she started at CVG. Agents gave passengers a number to call, but they said they were able to do nothing for us. They weren't able to get us a room. They weren't able to do anything. Two hours from her home in central Kentucky, Sarah decided to stay near the airport, hoping to get a weekend flight. It didn't happen. Discount airlines have opened up air travel to thousands of people who otherwise wouldn't be able to afford flying on mainline carriers like Delta and United. But the downside is when that flight doesn't go, you may not go either. On their website, it does say the next day. It doesn't say in two days or three days. It says the next day they'll have us on a flight. We contacted Allegiant. A spokeswoman explained when weather cancellations happen, they can be reaccommodated to another Allegiant flight or receive a refund. When a flight is canceled due to weather, we do not assist with hotel expenses. She also said Allegiant cannot transfer you to another airline. So for Sarah, that meant a three-day wait on her dime. Hopefully she gets out tonight. The website, thepointsguy.com, says this is a risk you take flying deep discounters like Allegiant.